I came home after a long day at work. When I walked inside, I noticed that the house was in a state. We had been robbed. Drawers were wide open with stuff spilling out. Pillows were scattered around. Of course, some of my favorite things were missing. I called the police. They come to investigate. The police dusted the area for fingerprints, but didn't find anything. It got me thinking: What if I could apply some of the special materials I've been working with in the lab to come up with a new, potentially better fingerprinting technique? I've got solutions containing tiny crystals, and I'm going to show you how police and forensic experts can use these crystals to make fingerprints glow at the scene of the crime. So all we need to do is to take a few drops of solution we developed at CR3O, and we can apply the solution right on the surface where the fingerprints are located. And all we need to do is to wait 30 seconds, and we can shine a black light on it. And then it can reveal a very strong green fluorescent colored fingerprint pattern. The tiny crystals rapidly bind to fingerprint residue to create a thin coating that is exact replica of the pattern. Look how the fingerprint glows. It works on any non-porous surface such as metal, plastic, and glass. The key advantage is that the crystals grow around the fingerprint in just 30 seconds. And the strong fluorescent effect enables higher resolution images to be taken for more precise and better analysis. You can imagine using digital technology to take these images and then send them to the database in real time. We hope to work with police and law enforcement agencies to apply this technique so that it's used in real-life crime scene investigations. Yeah.